controls the space, controls the universe. Hello, hello there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Lorena, Lorena Creole, bringing you that spice to sci-fi and pop culture analysis. And this video, I'm actually um, kind of sad to do this video, but it was indeed um, necessary because we've lost someone in pop culture who I loved watching um, growing up. And her name is Marion Ramsey, but you know her better as Sergeant Hooks from the Police Academy movies. Here with Marion Ramsey, uh, actress from the Police Academy films. You played Laverne Hooks. Um, officer. Of officer of Laverne Hooks, yes. Right. Before we get into the little tribute um, for her and about her life and the news about her unfortunate passing, please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button. In addition to subscribing, also hit the uh, notification bell so you get all the alerts for when I upload videos, from when I go live, just so you're kept in the loop when I've got, you know, yummy, delicious pop culture and uh, spicy content to upload here to the channel. So please do do that. Headline from Deadline, uh, dated January 7th of this year, 2021. Marion Ramsey dies. Police Academy's Officer Hooks and Broadway actress was 73 years old. What? I can't hear you. Marion Ramsey, an actress and singer who appeared in the 1978 hit Broadway show Yubi, but is best known for her portrayal of the sweet, squeaky voiced officer Laverne Hooks in the Police Academy franchise, died today in her Los Angeles home. She was 73. Her death was announced by her management team at Roger Paul Incorporated. A cause has not been determined, though the actress had been ill in recent days. Born in Philadelphia, Ramsey began her show business career on the stage, appearing in both the original Broadway and subsequent touring productions of Hello, Dolly. In 1974, she starred opposite Betty Davis in the legendary flop musical Miss Moffat, an adaptation of Davis's classic 1945 film, The Corn is Green, directed by Josh Logan. The Broadway bound musical closed during out of town tryouts. Ramsey's stage career rebounded four years later with Yubi, the lauded biographical musical about jazz pianist Yubi Blake, starring Gregory, the late Gregory Hines, and Maurice Hines. However, her signature role came in 1984 with Police Academy, the comedy film starring Steve Gutenberg. It's such a beautiful franchise, hilarious. W what is it like being a part of such a legendary comedic franchise? Um, I'd say nothing short of amazing and a miracle. As the mild-mannered officer Laverne Hooks, Ramsey made good use of her high-pitched whispery voice, a vocal delivery that contrasted with the character's occasional high-volume outbursts. <laughs> That's a lot better. The hit film was followed by five sequels over the next five years, with Ramsey appearing in all of them. After she left the franchise, which put out another film and two series following her departure, she appeared in several TV shows, including one-off roles in MacGyver, Beverly Hills 90210, and The Nanny. She later reprised her role as Hooks in 2006 Robot Chicken. In 2015, Lavantula and 2016's Two Lava Two Lantula, Ramsey reunited with Police Academy castmates Steve Gutenberg and Michael Winslow. Did you know that she wore a fat suit in the first movie? Yeah, when you first uh, see her, and she and you first see her at the police academy. She she's she's actually wearing a fat suit. So from what I understand in the interview that she did with MSN, they actually had her do that 
to show her at that show her losing weight as she went through um, as she went through the police academy. So that's something you know something that uh, something that I didn't know. The first police academy movie is my favorite. The second one would definitely have to be um, Police Academy Five. But uh, with the police academy movies aside. Did you know that she was in a commercial for Whisk? Oh, my chicken Larage oh. and my biscuits oh. and my ring around the collar. Ring around the collar. Yeah, Whisk, you know, to remove the, the, the ring around the collar. That blew my mind. I didn't, I never, never knew that that was her. No more leaving you alone. Yeah, no more. Ring around the collar. This gets ring around the collar and your whole wash clean. But back to Police Academy. Police Academy is one of those movies that is just a big part of, of pop culture um, in America. So many references to it. Honestly, the series Reno 911, yeah. A direct ripoff of uh, of Police Academy, but all of those characters in the Police Academy movies um, were were just were just amazing. I loved all of them, but you know, Sergeant Hooks. There's just something about Sergeant Hooks, especially. I know doesn't seem that way. I was very soft spoken um, as a kid in school. So seeing Sergeant Hooks go from this soft-spoken type of person to, you know, I'm a police officer and you're going to do what I say. It's that kind of power. I, I love seeing that. Love seeing that. Her, she just melded in so well with the cast. And it is it is honestly very heartbreaking to, um, to hear, of, hear of her passing. So... Just thought I'd give you a little bit of a update on one of the persons, at least important to me, in pop culture. And rest in peace, Marion Ramsey. Thank you for giving me so many laughs as a kid, uh, seeing Police Academy. And you know, wow, you will you will really be missed. So I'm Definitely grateful for physical media because I do have at least the two Police Academy <laughs> movies on a, on um God, what the frick is that thing called again? Oh yeah, Blu-ray, <laughs> Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and DVD. All right, so that is my take on this. Um, please do let me know your your thoughts in the comments. Um. Are you just now hearing about Ms. Marion Ramsey's passing? If you're a fan of Ms. Marion and her character, Sergeant Hooks from Police Academy, why don't you drop in the comments some of your favorite uh, scenes of hers from the movies? And if you don't know from the movies and you know her from other things, please do share that with us uh, in the comments. That, that would be great. That would be great. And, you know, with these times going on, we really do need to remember the good laughs that some of our pop culture icons have given us. All right. Okay, well, that will do this for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please make sure to like this video, share this video, and above all, subscribe to this video so more of my so you can get more of my spicy takes <laughs> on uh, pop culture and sci-fi analysis. So again, remember, never underestimate the power of pop culture. Stay plugged in. Bye.